Good morning, land of YouTube. I really love these things. They get me going like a General Electric. Cypress Hill quote. <laughs> um, I thought of something cool about an engine, but never mind. I'll tell you about that later. There's some, uh, some motherfucking turkeys out here. Huh. I correlate, you know, Thanksgiving and Independence Day like the same kind of thing a little bit. Because, you know, Columbus founded here after he, you know, jacked the fucking Native American population. There was a deer right out here just chilling with the, the turkeys. And I thought, well, that's cool because they're both, you know, kindred spirits. They're not trying to kill each other. They eat the ground. They're not like carnivores and shit. And I'm like, well, hey, guys, you're beautiful, but I'll fucking eat you both if I'm hungry. So Columbus kind of was like that. He came over like a big King Kong, fucking whip his dick out. I'm going to take what I want to take. I don't really think that that's good when it's considering that we should be for ourselves. You don't see a turkey trying to eat another turkey. There are animals like that. And, you know, Dahmer's one of them. He ate a human. So did Hannibal in that movie, right? I mean, I guess we're capable of that shit, but who really wants to eat another human? Unless it's, it's like survival or you're mentally ill. Who knows? But I really, really see some kind of crazy correlation. There's the deer, by the way. The deer's just hanging out right there. Let me point him out. Uh, right, right there. It was waiting to see me on the other side because it didn't, didn't really fear me anymore. It knows I will eat it, but it's like a deer in the headlights. It can't, there it is, better view. Oh, I wonder if I can zoom in on that. Nope, can't zoom in on face camera. That's a apple bug to get worked out, huh? So, um, I think of Thanksgiving in the same respect as 4th of July, because in a weird way, you know, our country came from independence, separating from, uh, the Britain rule, and, um, our country also came from Columbus finding it and founding it and bringing us here in a way that if he didn't, somebody else would have, I mean, it was inevitable, inevitable. We were all sailing around the fucking oceans back then, big ass boats. Packed with fucking rats and diseases and cockroaches probably and all kinds of fucking shit and people trying to survive and, you know, 35, 40 was probably like a prime where if you lived there, you were lucky and, and that made people real old, real fast. Like, you know, by the time you're five, six, seven, you had to be a fucking really on top of shit. Well, I look at my kids and I know my son is super smart. He's four. And that kid is so goddamn smart. He remembers every single fucking thing. And I think uh, through life, odd traumatic events in everybody's different respect, they happen at a young age. And it kind of turns us off a little bit. Like we go inside in a weird way that we're kind of trapped. And we're living in an external world that's forming us. But we're trapped inside. And we don't know it. And then I encourage everybody to really do some self-work. Maybe try to see why those things hurt so bad. Live through it. Express it in a beautiful way. And get outside of that shit. Because it's almost like you're walking around in a shell. And who wants to be in a hollow shell? Because you're kind of really just in there. Rattling around. Lights are on but nobody's home in a sense but you think you got it all going on. I say that because I don't know how many people like Nicki Minaj says. She says, um, everybody dies, but not everybody lives. And I see people living, but I don't know how many people are really, really, really living. Like, really living. If there's a chance in hell that you're walking through life and everything's not the way it should be and you suffer and you look outside and this world just sucks or, you know, everything's pretty much right but then every once in a while things just don't go right. I'd consider that life. I'd consider that a learning experience. I would challenge everybody to look at that in a way that they can turn it around and make it something beautiful instead of dwelling in the fucking self-pity and the self-worry and the self-anguish and then ultimately self-fucking-harm. So 
light backdrop, bring in the light as always. I definitely challenge people to really, you know, what it is to wake up, smell the roses, and they all came from shit at some point, right? Because fertilizers, nothing other than shit with some soil. Our bodies go back to that eventually. We shouldn't put them in caskets. That's like a way to say, fuck you, Earth. You can't have me back. Native Americans do that. They put us in the ground when they were us, right? So if we're a human race united, wouldn't we want to be united with the thing we came from, the Earth that wants to reclaim us so it can live better? Huh. Weird thoughts, huh? Let me know what you think. And... I believe that I could ruffle a lot of feathers. <laughs> Consider it ruffling turkey feathers. And if you watch this whole video six minutes long, I'm not going to do like a 10 or 20 minute video. Uh, I would just like to say thank you. And let me know what you think. Give me some ideas. I'll go with them. Thank you very much. Have a great day, land of YouTube. And be good.